In a shocking turn of events, Senator Tommy Tuberville has taken a bold leap into international diplomacy by declaring himself a staunch ally of none other than Vladimir Putin, the illustrious leader of Russia. In a press conference that left jaws dropping faster than a poorly executed magic trick, Tuberville proudly proclaimed, from now on, call me Tommy Vladimir's BFF, Tuberville. The announcement sent shockwaves through Washington, with political analysts scrambling to understand how a former football coach turned senator could align himself so closely with the Kremlin. But fear not, for Tuberville had a perfectly reasonable explanation, he just really loves Russia. As for Putin himself, he has yet to publicly acknowledge Tuberville's declaration of allegiance, leading some to speculate that the Russian leader is simply too busy riding shirtless on horseback or wrestling bears to bother with American senators. But one thing is for certain, with Tommy Tuberville cozying up to Putin, the world of international diplomacy has never looked so bizarre. So grab your matryoshka dolls and prepare for a wild ride, because in the wacky world of politics, anything is possible, even a former football coach becoming Putin's newest stude. Republican Senator Tommy Tuberville blaming they're the praising, United States. They're praising it's Vladimir scary. Putin. Praising Putin and blaming the United States. The United States for Russia's war against Ukraine. In a radio interview yesterday, Tuberville pointed the finger at America and expressed sympathy for Russian President Vladimir Putin. But we forced this issue. We kept forcing NATO all the way to Eastern Europe and uh, Putin just got tired of it. He said, listen, I do not want missiles on my border from the United States of America. It'd be like Russia coming to Mexico and putting missiles in Mexico. Uh, I understand what, you're, what he's talking about. You can tell Putin's on top of his game. One thing he said that it really rung a bell is our the propaganda media machine over here. They sell anything they possibly can to go after Russia. They can't win. It's not going to happen. Somebody needs to negotiate. Donald Trump will have it over with in a matter of weeks. Putin is on top of his game, wow. says United States Senator Tommy Tuberville of Alabama, talking about the murderous dictator who launched an unprovoked war against Ukraine, killing civilians for two years now.